All right, so here's the last part of my playthrough of the Council, Episode 2, Hide and Seek. This is Part 6. Um, this is going to take you down into the garden. Let's see, uh, the last part I got trapped inside of Mortimer's secret room. You'll see I get help from an unlikely ally. Um, I take the storm, the storm, the stone sword that I found from my mom down into the garden, and there's a whole puzzle down there. Uh, I made a video on that if you just want to know the answer to the puzzle, but it uh, involves a Greek myth. And you pick the right statue to put the sword in to reveal a hidden staircase in the garden, and that takes you to the ending. Alright, so here you go. Someone's coming. Please don't let it be Mortimer. Who is it? Deliberately avoiding me. Four years ago, I was his favorite. But nowadays, I have to ask for an audience with his lordship. Damn it! It's Peru. Mr. Peru! It's Mr. Deriche. I'm sort of trapped behind this painting. What are you playing Help at? Help me out God of here, please! It. How can I open it? There's a pedal under Lord Mortimer's desk. Can you see it? There's no... Hang on. Yes. Good. Now press it. Yeah, yeah. Done. You should see something resembling a frame with numbers. Yes? You have to turn them to set the combination. One, one, nine, one. Well, well. Poking our nose into Mortimer's little secrets, are we? You do surprise me. It's not what you're thinking. I'll explain everything. No, you will not, sir. It has nothing to do with me, and by the way, I never even saw you. So, I'll be on my way now. Thanks again. You had me trapped. Why not say anything? I would have wanted someone to open the door for me, too. And while it's too late for me, it may not be for you. I don't understand. I... Yeah. Goodbye. I've wasted enough time. I better get moving if I want to find my mother. This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. Alright, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one, twenty odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. 
I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. You brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears, too? Yes, but I thought I was the only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen in all. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows. Especially as there is only one authentic one, of course. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His Eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. Leave us now. I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Could you perhaps help me? What can I do for you, sir? Where did this sword come from? From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues in the garden. Thank you very much. Don't mention it, sir. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Golden elixir. Well, Monsieur de Richet. What brings you here? To tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. See you later. What happened to you, monsieur? It's time for me to assume the consequences of my choices. I've sold my soul to the devil. Now it's time to pay. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. 
Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. I guide this sword that will kill the monster. Let's see. A crack as long as my finger. And what's going to happen if, if I've got it wrong? Ariadne. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage, if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. I'll try something else. Here's the famous Ariana's thread, thanks to which, if I remember rightly, Theseus avoided getting lost in the labyrinth. Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. Daedalus. He's the architect of the labyrinth. And if I'm not mistaken, he's also the father of Icarus. Architect and genius inventor. He built the labyrinth for Minos to imprison the Minotaur. I seem to recall that he told Ariadne how to get out of the labyrinth by tying a thread to himself. So, Theseus managed to exit the labyrinth without trouble once the beast was dead. And when Minos found him, he threw him into his own labyrinth along with his son Icarus. Every action causes a reaction. Hey, there's a crack in this statue, too. The crack is thin and about as long as a finger. daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. All right, well, let's continue anyways. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there.
It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. Hmm. It looks like this slab moves. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath it. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Minos, son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. This jester sealed his fate. mythology, King Minos was known as a wise and just king, despite the fact that he deceived Poseidon. As punishment, his country was devastated by the white bull of the sea god, and his wife became passionately in love with it. From their union, Asterion was born, sadly known to us as the Minotaur. The illegitimate child, the child of shame, who had a sorry fate. And to think that Minos ended up as a judge of the underworld, decidedly, the high and mighty always manage to get away with it. Theseus, son of Aegeus, he's the one who slayed the Minotaur. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. Asterion was a son of Pasiphae and Minos, or rather the result of a curse put on Minos. Minos was punished for betraying Poseidon. Of course, as strangely it often happens, it wasn't he who was punished, it was his wife. She had to mate with a bull, no less. From that union, Asterion was born, who everyone knows as the famous Minotaur. Rejected by Minos, he was shut up in the labyrinth so he could never leave. And, as if that wasn't bad enough, he died by the hand of a hero desperate to restore his reputation. Technically, Asterion is the victim of the story because he's described as a child cast out from Earth. Born from an extramarital union because of the errors of his father, 
he was treated as an outcast all his life. And he died as innocently as he was born. A tragic story, as the Greeks knew how to do so well. This statue has a crack in it. Right. We'll soon see. What is that? It's like a sort of opening mechanism. Knowing Mortimer, I bet it's booby trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. Pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Oh, what's wrong? Either. I'm imagining things, or my hand was pricked. It had poison on it. My head. I feel hot. Golden elixir. Asterion. Minos. The crack is in the region of the heart. Again? <laughs> you can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! <gasps> what was that? That's the third time in three days.
Let's see if you're you're in there, mother. Hmm, someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Hmm, there are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Mother, now what's happened? 